Hey everyone, I'm Veronica and in today's video I'll show you how to make a memory photo slideshow in Filmora 11 just like this one. I've created I'm using the photo stack pack and I'm also using the weather backgrounds but you don't have to necessarily use these packs Filmstock has lots of other packs that are designed for photo slideshows so let's head into the Wondershare Filmora 11 and as you can see I already have my slideshows fully put together on the timeline right here so in this video I'll just be going over how I added the particular elements and how I put together the photos into the frames so for the time being I'm going to mute the music so that it doesn't get in the way and we will start with me showing you how you can keyframe your images so that they move across the screen. The first thing you need to do is click and drag your image onto the timeline. Let's zoom in and select the first frame by going to the beginning of the clip. Then you need to double click on the clip to open the controls and you need to go into the animation tab. From here you need to go into customize and this is where you can add your keyframes. So when you're on the first frame, click add. You can then move your image on the preview. I recommend scaling the image up to be a little bit bigger than the frame itself so that you have space for movement. And then you simply have to move the image onto a starting point for the motion. Once you're happy with your starting point, you have to go onto the last frame and then again click add and reposition your image to where you want it to be at the end of the movement. And then you just hit OK and now your image will be keyframed and moving along. Now let's have a look at how to add overlays. So you'll find your overlays in the effects tab. Adding overlays is super easy. All you have to do is click and drag the overlay onto the timeline. And you can also adjust the length of it by clicking and dragging the edge on the timeline. If you want to preview any of the motions for the overlays, all you have to do is double click on the thumbnails and you'll get a preview on the right. And once you're happy, you can go back to your timeline by clicking on it. Next, let's have a look at how we can add titles. So let's go into the titles tab. So the same as with the overlays, all you have to do is click and drag the title onto the timeline and you can use the edge to adjust the length of it. So each title comes with a preset text. So in order to customize it, you have to double click on the title and you have the controls window open up. From here, you can customize the top and bottom text by selecting it on the preview and changing text on the left in this text box right here. You can also move the text around on the preview by clicking and dragging it to where you want it to appear instead. And of course you also have the ability to change the font, customize the font size as well as the text spacing. And if you want to fit your image into a frame and have a different background around it, for example let's choose this frame right here and position it on the third track. The first thing you want to do is add the background. You can find the backgrounds in the elements tab. So I'm using the weather backgrounds. So I'm going to click and drag one of the backgrounds onto the timeline underneath the title. And then I'm going to add in an image. Let's choose this photo right here. First, you want to reposition your image. So in order to make it easier, make sure you lock your track so that the title doesn't move as you try to move the image. And you can then scale it down on the preview and make it fit into the frame. If your image is slightly bigger than the frame, you can go into the effects tab and type in crop and you can click and drag this crop effect onto the image. Then you have to double click on the image, go into the image tab effect and from here you can crop the edges so that they fit into the frame. Now in order to transition your image to appear into the frame a little bit more smoother, what you can do is double click on the image, go into the animation tab, into preset, and you can, for example, add in a fade in. So you can set the image to fade in as the frame animation stops. 
Anyway guys, that's it for this video. I hope that you found it useful and that I gave you some ideas to make your own photo slideshows. If you are interested in any of the packs, they will be linked in the description below. So go ahead and check them out. Also, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the Filmstock channel so you never miss any of the future uploads. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!